in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the footage from your DJI drone that was set up like I showed you in the previous video to shoot an H.264 and D-Cine like. Well, we also set contrast, saturation, and sharpness to minus one. As you can see, the video is quite a bit flatter than would come out if you had chosen one of the other color or looks. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on scopes. To do that, I'm going to come over to the view pull down and I'm going to choose video scopes. If it's not showing you Luma, click here and choose Luma. This Luma or waveform monitor shows us the brightest and darkest areas across the frame that we're looking at. What I can tell from this is that it is brighter, it is closer to the 100 than it is to the zero. So we'll start with that. The other thing I'm going to do is make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to click on the little sizing handle here, drag this over, and now we've got a larger image and we have a larger view of the waveform monitor. Now go up to the little triangle and we're going to show color inspector. And if it's not showing, click on the little drop down and make sure that color wheels has been selected. In color wheels, we can work on the master, the shadows, the mid toads, and highlights separately. The first thing I'm looking at is how it's pushed up towards the 100. So I'm going to go to the right hand side here of the wheel and I'm going to bring the overall level down so it's a bit more balanced. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the overall saturation of the image by pushing the left side of the wheel up. And you can see as I do that, that increases it. I'm going to leave it there for the moment and I may come back and adjust that depending on what happens when we adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Now click on the shadows tab and what we want to do is we want to bring these shadows down closer to zero. So I'm going to come to the right side of the shadows wheel and I'm going to pull down and I'm going to watch the waveform monitor and you'll notice that the image gets darker. And I'm going to leave it about there. Next I'm going to go to the highlights and I'm going to take this same control on the highlights wheel and I'm going to push up until it gets closer to the top, closer to 100. Our limits are 0 and 100. Now I'm going to take the midtones and I'm going to play with those until I get more of a look that I want from this. I may come back to highlights and even though it's going to bring it down just a touch lower, I'm going to put it there and I may come back to my master and push some more saturation into this. Now in the highlights, if I want to push a little more saturation into the highlights, I can do that. I can put a little more saturation into the midtones, and I'm going to leave it at that. So that's really all that's involved in this. It's not, uh, not really complicated. You just need to know what tools to use to take your flatter image and to create something that is pleasing to your eye. You'll notice that the waveform monitor is relatively balanced. So now I want to add some sharpening. I'm going to go over to this icon and I'm going to show the effects browser. I'm going to make sure that I've got video selected or all video and audio. I'm going to come down to the search box and I'm going to type sharp. And that's going to show me the sharpening options that I have. This sharpening effect is the default. I'm going to take and drag that into it. And this allows me to apply whatever level of sharpening I want. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to go to 100%. And I'm going to see what sharpening does as I pull it to the right. You can see it's just way over sharpened. It often doesn't take a lot to get the look that you want. And I'm going to go with about there. Let's back off to fit. And that actually might be a little too much even as I'm looking at this. Let's bring it down to about there. 
and I'm happy with that. So there you go. That's how you take your D-Cine like that turns it into something that's closer to what you saw when you shot the video.